Oh hey, what's happening there YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework and today I need your help uh, for something. I have been selling a lot of uh, hardware packs for the Revolution 2x72 belt grinder project. And if you're not familiar with that project, I'll put a link uh, up, up somewhere, wherever. And <clears throat> you can kind of follow along with that project. Most likely, if you're watching this video, you already are very aware of what I've been up to with the Revolution. It has uh, been a life-changing uh, experience for me to design that and prototype it and then ultimately uh, start uh, selling uh, grinder pieces, parts, plans, all that stuff. Um, in particular, I, am been, I have been selling quite a bit of hardware to the tune of probably 20 a week-ish, uh, which is quite uh, a, a big number for someone like me who's doing all the packing, uh, I'm doing all the purchasing, I'm doing all the assembly of the, uh, the kits, and then uh, putting them in the bags and then sending them out to, to, the, to you all who have been so gracious in supporting my business and supporting this project. And uh, honestly, it grew so much faster than I could have ever imagined. Um, and I am overwhelmed by the response and thank you so much. The problem I'm having, and I know that you guys can help me solve this issue, I need to crowdsource this problem because when I've done that in the past, you've always come through for me, is that I am, I am I'm ordering everything through McMaster Car, and I, I get all my, my hardware through them, and it's, it's extremely high quality hardware in my opinion. Uh, you know, uh, when, when you buy this kit from me, you get nothing but the best from them, and I pack it myself, and I make sure it gets to you. And so I really like that concept that uh, I'm getting a good high quality part and they ship quick to me. I usually get it within a day or two uh, of when, my, when I place my orders and they kind of reserve my orders and their website so I can go there and look and, and just you know click and say, I need more of these, more of these, more of these. They make the, the data backend is really uh, easy to use. And it's easy to use as far as um, like prototyping and such too, because uh, when I'm doing my work in Fusion 360, which I've now graduated from SketchUp, by the way, to Fusion 360, uh, I can now import their hardware from their database and their, uh, their step files actually go right into my drawings, which makes prototyping inside of Fusion insanely awesome. And um, it makes you know, the whole experience so much more streamlined. The one problem I have with McMaster Car is the amount of packaging that they, um, and how they sell those particular things. Like, um, uh, I, I can give you a really good example. This is a great example. These bolts right here, right? These are um, the bolts, one of which becomes the, uh, the bolt that turns the uh, the, the, the mechanism for the tracking uh, wheel, and then another one holds the, the platen on, that holds this, this piece on. So you just, uh, you know, it goes right through here and it slides through the spacer and it goes into the, um, into the tooling arm, right? It's a fully threaded bolt that is about three and a quarter inches long, uh, socket head, nice good quality stuff, right? Um, this, this bolt, though, when you purchase it through McMaster Card, their sets of these, are they sell them five at a time in a box. And then they put that box in a Ziploc bag. And I, I, I need so many of these that it just seems silly why I can't just buy, say, 50 of these in, say, a bag, right? Now, maybe I'm missing something. I reached out to McMaster Car and said, can I just buy these bolts in bulk? I just want, like, a whole bunch of these. And they said, no, you have to buy them in this, uh, this little box. And then I end up just taking these out and putting them in my own bag and throwing the box away. Now, I've been known to have, uh, you know, enough common sense to know that I don't, you know, partake. I'm not a tree hugger, let's just say that. But I just really dislike the fact that I'm throwing away so much packaging. Um, I just don't think it makes a ton of sense. And I know that that's probably part of their logistics thing that goes on at McMaster, that they sort everything like this. But for guys like me, uh, I, I really would like to have a bulk option. Now, I have 
per your suggestion, gone to Fastenal and said, hey, this is what I buy, this is what I need. And believe it or not, Fastenal is more expensive and they do not sell this bolt. Like this is one of the first bolts I went to look for. I can find this in a partially threaded bolt, but I cannot find it in a fully threaded bolt. In fact, as far as I'm aware, McMaster Car is the only place where you can get this. So uh, yeah, I'm a little confused. I don't know what I'm to do about that bolt. That said, I could just buy this bolt from McMaster Car and then buy all the rest of the hardware from someone else in bulk. But I tried that too, and I still cannot get the pricing down below what McMaster Car sells them to me for. And I'm just like a one-off guy. Like, I, I mean, I'm now growing a little bit. I'm, I'm spending a couple thousand dollars uh, every couple of weeks at McMaster Car, and I would think there's some hardware manufacturer out there or at least a distributor somewhere that would be willing to take my hardware packs, disassemble them, or at least we could create a list and they would bag them up for me and then ship me them already uh, partitioned out. And I think someone made that uh, comment on my channel a while back. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Vet Picking. I don't remember and I wish I did because I can't find that comment any, any longer. But if you know of a service that will do that for a reasonable price that could carry all the pieces and parts of our hardware pack, I would really um, like to send them some business. That way I can back away from what I'm doing here, uh, packing all this hardware, putting it all together uh, and shipping it out. That way I can sort of step back and continue making content because ultimately, um, I enjoy the prototyping portions, the video work. I, I mean, and I'm not complaining by any means. I, I love that I'm, I have a business that's thriving and I think that's fantastic. I, I just am looking for ways to sort of uh, duplicate myself. And if I can duplicate myself in a hardware packing and shipping department, that would be awesome. Otherwise, I'll just have one of my staff members do it. Um, they're not really, they're computer guys, so they're not really you know, into this kind of stuff. I think they would do it if I asked them to, but I didn't really want to like, you know, add anything else to their plate uh, right now. But so I need that help. And if uh, maybe perhaps somebody watching this works in the industrial tooling or the industrial hardware uh, world and could assist me in that process, uh, I would be forever grateful. Thank you so much uh, for that. Um, also, we are in full swing with the plate steel. We are now ordering 30 sets a week to be shipped out and we sell out pretty much every week. So we are in full rotation with plate and uh, those, those, as you order it, you'll see that your orders are going out usually the same day or the next day. So if you buy plate steel, you'll get that pretty quickly. We ship everything in priority mail, so it comes pretty fast. Also. We are developing a European distribution center in Germany, and I am very excited to tell you that that will be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. We've been meeting with laser cutters over there and someone who is, uh, and I'll introduce him on the channel at some point very soon, who will be distributing for me in the EU. And um, we're just sort of working out all the taxes and all of the shipping. There's a lot of logistics. So say you buy something from me and it comes out of the Germany warehouse, then it's got to go from Germany to say uh, France. Uh, there's uh, certain things that need to happen, the certain pieces to that puzzle, taxes, customs forms, and all of that. So if anyone has any information about uh, shipping and logistics in the European Union, uh, reach out to me, brian at housework.us. I would love to hear from you about that uh, because the model that I'm seeing that we're building out here is one of which uh, I can do this in all major markets, right? So we could set this up in, say, Australia. We could set this up in, um, I, I don't know the story with the UK, if it's part of the European Union anymore. I know there's a whole Brexit thing. I'm, I'm not familiar with that, so I don't understand how that all works. Again, I need some assistance. But, you know, uh, South Africa, I have had so many people reach out from South Africa. So if I could find a laser cutter in South Africa, we're, we basically send you everything you need to get set up as a distributor uh, and you sort of roll it out on your end and uh, we, we basically uh, route all the sales through the website. It's kind of a cool uh, model and it works. 
we know it works. It's just figuring out all those like little shipping logistics and uh, all of that. So anyhow, that is rolling out. That is super exciting. And what that does, I think, for me anyway, is it gives me hope that this can expand outside of the United States. And I feel like that's just a good move. You know, it makes just a, a, a bunch of sense. Um, so I am um, I'm humbled every day by the amount of emails and text messages and phone calls I get from all of you who are building the, the revolution. All the pictures you've been sending me on my Facebook group. If you uh, aren't already familiar, we do have a Facebook group now for DIY belt grinders and machines, and it doesn't have to be specific to the revolution. I am not interested in becoming a monopoly in that world. If you're building a grinder or you want help or you have some thoughts and, and you want to share that with the community, you can do it there. It's a safe space. It's moderated and all negativity will be uh, completely 100% squashed. Uh, so it's uh, it's a kind of a cool community. I'll put a link down below so you can get to that Facebook group. It's um, called DIY Belt Grinders and Machines. So go there and find it. If you got something out of today's video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you click that little bell, you get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. There are many ways to support what I do right here in this workshop and studio. Uh, one of which by far is to support uh, the Revolution Project by buying our plans and parts on my website, housemade.us. I also have an Amazon store. You can click through and find all the pieces and parts to a lot of the projects that I've got going on right here, some of the electronics for the Revolution. And those are all listed there. And if you click through, I get a little bit of a commission from Amazon and it helps kind of keep the lights on in here and keeps things rolling. Also, I am still in process with my beautiful wife, Sarah. We are working on rolling out a whole new line of merch and uh, that will be coming out on the website. But in the meantime, you can buy a t-shirt through Teespring. They're not uh, my favorite uh, company to deal with, but they, you know, if you need or wanted a uh, housework shirt, you can go there and buy one. Also, Patreon and uh, buy me a coffee. Those are all other options as well to uh, help support what we've got going on right here. Anyway, guys, I truly appreciate you. I hope to see you on the next video. My name is Brian House, and this has been Housework. Oh,